Hey guys, welcome back. Oh my goodness, this is my first tutorial of the year and I'm gonna be live in the comments for the next hour to answer any questions you might have. And this is the first time I've ever been live in the comments when one of my tutorials has been put up in the last five years. So today we are going to create a snail I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, the reason I'm doing a snail is because the meaning of a snail does not just symbolize laziness or deliberation, but instead it can also be a symbol of rebirth or death and even self-sufficiency. But I like to make pretty things. <laughs> so that's the main reason I'm doing it. Um, I'd also like to let you know in uh, a little bit into my life, um, things have been really tough. So while I sketch this out and get the shape of my snail, um, I'll explain a little. I'll do the best I can. I don't want to say too much. Of course, it's my personal life. Um, but dang, I've been through a lot and my career is suffering um, and I know you guys have been sitting there waiting so I do owe you some kind of explanation I just have to be careful with how much I say and I also don't want this to be a negative experience for any of us so um, I have left my marriage um, Basically, the only thing I'm going to say is it was forced. I was forced to end my marriage. Um, I have to be a good mom. I have to take care of my kids. I have to take care of me. Uh, and I have to do the right thing. So I've chosen to be self-sufficient and bring on the death of my marriage and the rebirth of a new me. I want to find my smile again. So I have been missing a lot over the last year. I have not been here very much. I haven't been consistent and it's really, you know, it's been really tough. So I just want to thank everybody who's stuck by, everyone who's been checking in on me, sending me messages or comments on the channel, um, asking, where's Rachel? And are you okay? And are you coming back? Did you quit? I clearly don't have time to respond to all of you beautiful people. And I'm sorry for that. Um, if I could, I would. I promise you, I'm more of a people pleaser than anything, and that's not always a good way to be. So I've I've had to stop responding to everybody so that I can still be a mom and and still take care of myself. But I I'm reading your comments, so I just want to say thank you for that. You guys have been very supportive and understanding. So I'm hoping I have some more good news for you as part of the rebirth process. Um, good news, but it's still in the works. Um, I'm going to be starting a podcast with a cousin of mine who's who lives in England. So we're going to have like two sides of the world here. Um, she's hilarious. She's amazing. She's brilliant. She's a mother. She's a woman. She's just a light in this world that I think that you all need to get to know. And together, we are going to be an even bigger light for the world. Um, so along with my painting and my rocks, I'm going to be starting something separate um, that's going to be where you can see us and you can you can talk to us and you can be members of our channel and and you can listen to us on Spotify and stuff like that once it's all set up. Um, so I'm just giving you a heads up now that that's what 
we're working on. Um, and I don't want to say too much because it's still so in the works, um, but it's going to be really cool and we're going to make you laugh. And if you are interested in, in joining that channel and, and seeing my face and seeing a different side of me other than painting, that's going to be happening soon. So keep an eye out. Um, as for this channel, I'm going to keep busting my butt as best as I can because Lord knows I need the money right now. Um, and my career has gone severely downhill uh, in the last year. So I I could use a like. It's It's a free way to help me. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and watch the paint dry on the screen while I'm chatting with you. <laughs> I love you. Um, so basically what I've done here is I've sketched it out with pencil, then I outlined it with gold, and now I'm cleaning up my mess. You guys know that cleanup period that we do. Um, it's boring. It's not very fun. We're going to be filling this in with color because you know me, I like color, and I'm not only going to use color, but I'm going to use dots, I'm going to use crystals, I'm going to use metallic watercolor, I'm going to use chrome. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to color shift. Um, so I'm incorporating pretty much everything that I've ever taught on my channel into this beautiful snail <laughs> so that we can have a fun first tutorial for 2023. If you have any questions, I'm in the comments waiting to answer or say hi. Um, so only for the first hour. And I will come back and check and, and try to reply to everybody throughout the day. Um, but mama got to work. <laughs> so um, I'm still cleaning it up, just kind of thinning out any areas in gold that I felt were messy or too thick. I'm just perfecting it before we add the color, kind of like a coloring book. I'm, I'm perfecting the lines first and then we can fill it in. So I just want you guys to know that you don't have to worry. Everything's going to be fine. Um, I'm in therapy. <laughs> My kids are in therapy. Um, we're going to be okay. I have a very small support system here, um, but I also feel like by working on my career more and being with you guys more, that will help me feel not so alone. Um, so any of your prayers and support is amazing right now. You know, very much appreciated. Um, so yeah, I just, I want you to know I'm good. I'm okay. And I know I'm making the right decision. So um, for me and my kids. So now that I have it the way I want it, I'm going to add some texture, I guess you could say, <laughs> to our little snail body. And no, I have not done the research on snail body parts. So you definitely can let me know what all these little bits and pieces are if I've even done them correctly in the comments. I'd, I'm happy to learn, always willing to learn, but I did not do any of the research. I just wanted to make something pretty for my first tutorial of 2023. So yeah, this is it. It's going to be a very strange snail that you've probably never seen before, but we've brought him into the universe together today, which is super exciting. So Anybody have a birthday this month? If you've been here with me throughout this journey, you know my birthday's in this month. Yeah, I'm going to be old and that's okay. I still feel pretty vibrant, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be old. So if anybody else is celebrating their birthday this month, please let me know in the comments so that I can wish you a happy birthday. Um... Let us not be forgotten. This is going to be my first birthday uh, as a single woman in years and years. Um, and I'm hoping to go out, hoping to go out and have some fun, maybe go to karaoke or something. I want to start singing more. 
So I've added some big gold dots inside those flowers. We're going to be working with all of this stuff separately as we go along. Um, I, like I said, I'll be adding some crystals, some Swarovskis, and uh, watercolor, all sorts of fun stuff in this so that your eyes don't even know where to look first. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I want to confuse you and hypnotize you with my artwork. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I have at my desk, but I don't have a lot. Time has been not on my side. Um, so doing the best I can and I'll show you what I got. I'm just trying to perfect his shell. Is it a he? I think it's going to be a colorful he. Why not? So I'm just waiting for some gold dots to dry. I might have to go over some of those dots on his body again or whatever that is. His Is it a slug? Is it a slug without a shell? Somebody tell me. <laughs> I don't know and I feel bad now. Is it just a slug who, who carries a, a house on his back? Because they look very similar. Anywho, let's put some color in this. I'm starting with some lime green and some swing set green by Martha Stewart. Um, my paints. Oh, I need some new paints, people. <laughs> They're so old that even look, it's cracking. The paper is cracking. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, so I'm using teal, swing set green, and lime green. And I'm going to do some funky leaves. And I'm using a tiny dotting needle. You can use a toothpick. Find something small to use in your house that has a small point to it. Um, toothpicks work really great and they're super cheap. I'm using a dotting needle, which I got from a nail salon um, because I love to do my nails. And they make the tiniest, cutest little dots. But I'm not concerned about them all being perfect. And I don't mind if they touch each other because they're all friends. Okay, so don't be concerned about any of that stuff. Uh, I'm just filling it in. So I started with teal at the base of the leaf, worked my way up to sun, uh, sunset green, swing set green, and then lime green. And I'm going to do the same thing. Bam, magic of editing. Bam, it's all done. And yeah, they have some pretty cool looking leaves now. Um, I'm now going to use the master mini master set from Yuli Watercolors. I love you, Jeannie. I love her paints. Love them. So I'm just putting a little dib dab of water in each little color here because I haven't decided yet which colors I'm going to use. So why not just wet them all? You can also use like a little spray uh, water bottle, spray them all, um, give them a little spritz to moisten them up so that they start moving around a little bit. Um, but like I said, I'm just putting a, a drip drab, <laughs> a little drip of water in each one. And I'm going with this one for the belly of the snail. Whatever this part is, please tell me. If it's a gross name, I don't even need to know. I'm still going to call it a belly. But thank you. Uh, this color is going to shift from this beautiful uh, teal kind of color uh, to purple. All of these colors shift. So it's going to look really pretty. I'm also going to do some watercolor in the flowers. And in the spotted body of the snail, whatever that part is, um, I'm going to do like a rainbow in his body because he is a fancy snail. He's a fancy one. Now we got to see this. It's dancing. That glitter is dancing in the flower right now. And I just love that. I'm such a simple woman. <laughs> I'm like... Anything sparkly, just let me sit there and look at it for a minute, and I'm happy. I'm happy again. That is why all of my stuff is so sparkly. Yeah, makes me happy. Hopefully it makes you happy. Can you see that glitter dancing around in there? It just looks so pretty. I'm going to speed it up, do the other flower real quick. I am going to be outlining everything. If I've gone over top of the gold, I want to make sure that gold is vibrant. Um, I'm also doing the rainbow body up here. 
as you can see. If I go outside the lines at all, I can fix it with black paint, which I do go outside the lines. Uh, you'll see that on the, is it his eyeballs or is it antenna? Ugh, I don't even know. I probably should have done the research. I'm sorry, little guy. I don't know if you have eyes up here or if they're just feelers of some sort. <laughs> Anyway, I went over top of some of the dots on the body, so I'm going to be redoing those. I'm going to let the watercolor dry, and I'm going to use some gel, UV gel top coat for fingernails. Yes, that's right. You need a UV light. I'm going to list everything I've used in the description of this video, so please look in there if you have any questions about what I'm using um, and where I get it. It'll all be in there. And what I'm doing is little sections at a time, with the UV gel. I don't actually work this fast. Um, so if you're thinking, wow, like, geez, you've had a lot of coffee today. Uh, no, this has been sped up just for you because you'd fall asleep by now. Um, so I'm going to use some chrome pigment powders. You can get these from Amazon um, in all sorts of different colors, purple, pink, blue, green, whatever you want you can find them it's all for nails and i usually do get mine all from amazon so it's completely up to you where you get your stuff from but i'll list in the description where i got mine so do you see how beautiful this is starting to look it actually like raises it up it kind of looks like puffy chromey shiny it's beautiful i love it i'm gonna do the whole thing quickly and i'm gonna just kind of pick through colors and change it up a little bit as i go along and i'm also going to be using a different type of um chrome it's like flakes i'm going to be using flakes on the dots that are on the body um, as well as the edge of the body and I'm using a greenish yellow for the little leaves as well, near the dotted leaves. So change it up. Do what you want to do with it. I've got to redo these dots because I colored over some of it with the watercolor. So I've got to let that dry. While I'm letting that dry, we got other stuff to do anyway. So I am going to use some nail glue. You can use whatever kind of glue you want. Just be careful just put it on the center of the flower and I'm going to stick a flat back Swarovski right into the center of each flower. So glue first carefully. I don't want to get it on the watercolor. I don't want to make it run or make it look weird. Um, so make sure you just get glue on the center. You can even use Mod Podge. Just make sure you let your crystals dry um, before you resin or before you seal it. These aren't going anywhere now. Um, so if you have like critters in your home, cats, birds, kids, um, husbands who've had too much to drink after game night, um, they won't be able to pick off these Swarovski crystals and put them in their mouth because they're going to be covered over top with a seal of resin. Um, on my rock anyway. I don't know what you're doing to yours, but... I know that no critters will be able to get anything off of this once I seal it with my coat of resin. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of decorate the outside. It's going to look a little bit kind of like lacy. Um, I'm just walking the dots. Do a big dot on top. Walk the dots down to the center on either side. And then do a big dot on the bottom in the center and walk them up. Same way. I'm just walking the dots around the around them and then I'm going to put a black dot in the center of the bigger gold dots and it's just going to kind of give like a, a nice border separating the painting from the natural Lake Superior stone because it's absolutely gorgeous and yeah I don't want to hide any more of that background I want people to be able to see that um, but I just wanted to frame it in kind of give it a nice look to it. Uh, now I'm going to do the outer edge of this slimy little guy and I'm going to use flakes this time. I'm going to do the same process on the dots. 
This is the UV gel that I've got on here now, putting it under the light. Now I've got my flakes and these color shift as well. So they go from like a green to a maroon to a yellow to a gold. It looks so pretty in the in under different lights, unfortunately. It's hard for me to show you that. <laughs> um, yeah, but I promise it looks really cool. And I'm just going to put that on there and I'm going to wipe any excess flakes off uh, with my little desk broom, it's just a little fan, little fan brush, and get rid of all the extra flakes. And uh, we are like so close to being done now. I am going to show you a couple of things at my desk, and then I'm going to show you this once it's been resined. It's going to look so beautiful. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right. Are you ready? You guys have seen me do these before. These are my little jewel stones. You can look for Rachel's Rocks jewel stones or gem stones. Um, and they're really super easy. They look hard, but they're really super easy and a lot of fun. They're so pretty. There's also this uh, molded stone. It is like a incense holder, paintbrush holder, vape holder, pen holder. It's from a mold from Happy Dot and Company. I'm going to be showing you a tutorial for that one. This one's just watercolors. Uh, I'm going to use that for a background, but here's our snail. Here's our snail stone. Snail stone 2023. Gorgeous. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for saying hi to me in the comments. Don't forget to give me your ideas. I need them right now. I can barely think. I need your ideas for what you want to see next. I love you. I will always love you. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. And I will see you again very soon. Make sure you keep painting. Keep being creative. Send me your ideas. And like if you like it and share if you care, and I might break out into song. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you right now. I will eventually, just not today. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for the podcast with my cousin Steph, and uh, more info will be coming out in each tutorial. I want you guys to know first. See you soon. Bye.